Well, it certainly has been quite an interesting state election and for anyone that was outside the electorate of Kayama, the results from that seat may have come as quite a bit of a surprise. But in a statement that was posted to social media late yesterday afternoon, the newly elected independent member, Gareth Ward, said that in the end, the people always get it right. He did thank his friends and family for their support during the campaign. And then he turned to his Labor opponent and praised her work, saying that she was an incredibly decent, dedicated and hard-working individual and that said that she deserves every accolade for her efforts in this contest. He also accused unions of running a smear campaign against him in that statement. It does come after comments that were made to the ABC by Gareth Ward saying that the newly elected Premier Chris Minns would be ignoring the will of the people of Kiama if he were to suspend him from Parliament. Mr Ward was suspended from Parliament last year in May when he faced sexual assault charges of which he has most recently entered a not guilty plea on Tuesday at Nowra local court and is due to reappear at Downing Centre next week. However, the debate has raised several questions as to the legal ramifications within the law world if fresh suspension orders were to be put in place. Uh, something that legal experts have said would raise some really difficult questions, not only for the courts, but also for the nature of democracy itself. Certainly, if he is suspended, it would seem to be defying the wishes of his electorate. Uh, but the balancing issue there is, well, what are the wishes of the rest of um, the uh, state? So what are the wishes of the people in the other electorates? I mean, I find that very hard to judge. I really wouldn't have a clue what people think about that. Maybe politicians are sufficiently in tune to know that his continuing presence in the House would cause difficulty for the House to be able to effectively fulfil its functions. Labor losing the seat of Kayama has allowed them to slip further and further away from the prospect of forming a majority government. They are still behind in three of the four seats that do remain undecided. The electorate of Ryde with the Labor candidate Lyndall Howison, who's running in that seat, is only ahead by 235 votes. If they were to win that seat, they would still only hold 46 seats in Parliament, which means they would be running in a minority. But we have heard from the Premier Chris Minns who says that he will be able to work anyone no matter who it is and will be able to govern the state of New South Wales effectively.